Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tao from Seven Bone Tailoring. Today I'm going to show you how to make a triangle clutch using scrap denim. And we're going to line it with leather. We'll also use horse hair to stiffen the fabric. We'll also need buttons and a string to secure the clutch. So what you need is um, pattern paper where you can cut a parallelogram. I can fold the triangle three times. Each side of my triangle is going to be 9.5 inches. I seam ripped the leg out, pressed them. I'm just going to sew them together using a straight stitch, leaving half an inch seam allowance. Try to pick your largest denim scraps so that your clutch will come out less collaged or patchy. But hey, that could be a cool look too. Now let's trace the pattern onto the denim, leaving half an inch seam allowance as well. I just decided that this clutch needs a foam pocket. So let's make a really quick and easy one. Just trace a rectangle that's a little bigger than your phone. And next, we're gonna sew it onto the lining about an inch down from this line. So I'm lining the face of the denim with the leather for lining and the horse hair goes on the outer layer because when we flip it, it's gonna be on the inside, in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and sew all around. But first, let's trim all the frays so that we have clean edges to work with. So I'm gonna end here, leaving um, six inches opening so that I can turn everything inside out and press the seams. We're going to close the opening with a zigzag cover stitch to finish it clean. I'm going to zigzag cover stitch all around the perimeter. You can use whatever zigzag option that's available on your machine. So I'm using a narrow one with 2 16 inch width. Sew it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Next, you're gonna add a string to the edge of the first triangle where the pocket for the phone is. So in order to find that, you just fold it evenly, create a triangle, and then we just mark there. That's where we will be sewing on the string. You can use whatever you like. Um, leather, a leather string would be good too, but here I just have um, a silk piece. I'm gonna mark that. Use a razor blade or a seam ripper to open a few stitches in order to insert the string. Once it's in, just back stitch it several times to secure it. So after you had sewn the string on, you want to do another top stitch over on this side to secure the triangle. I'm basically just back stitching it a few times with number three length. The last step is to uh, add the button to the middle of the triangle. And then we're gonna use the string to wrap it around to secure the clutch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand stitch the button on. And that's it, an upcycled triangle clutch using denim and leather scraps. You can use any type of fabric, just make sure it's nice and thick. Layer it up if you have to. It's very simple, don't you think? Thank you for watching. Please check out wearesew.com for more tutorials. Take care.